Yeah, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about revaluation of assets and liabilities in partnership accounts, which is a topic in in accounting too. Yeah. So revaluation of assets is necessary when a new partner is admitted, retires, or dies. All assets and liabilities have to be taken into account during this exercise of revaluation. A revaluation account is normally prepared to determine either a profit or loss on revaluation. Yeah, and when we prepare a revaluation account and the credit side is greater than the debit side, then it's called a profit on revaluation. And when the debit side is greater than the credit side, it's called a loss on revaluation. And in accounting, like all the times, eh, when the credit side is greater than the debit side, just know it's a profit. And when the debit side is greater than the credit side, it's a loss. Yeah. Let's look at the accounting entries in case of revaluation. Uh, when revaluation occurs, we prepare what we call the revaluation account. Yeah, so in case there is an increase in the value of assets, assets increase by debiting and they reduce by crediting. So in case there is an increase in the value of assets, we debit the individual asset account and we credit the revaluation account. And in case there is a decrease in the value of assets, assets decrease by crediting. So we debit the revaluation account and we credit the individual asset account. Then in case of increase in the value of liability, liabilities increase by crediting and they reduce by debiting. Yeah, so in case of an increase in the value of a liability, we debit the revaluation account and we credit the individual liability account. Then in case of a decrease in the value of a liability, we debit the individual liability account because liabilities reduced by debiting and then we credit the revaluation account. In case of a profit on revaluation, when we get a profit on revaluation, it means that the credit side is greater than the debit side on the revaluation account. So in case of a profit on revaluation, we debit the revaluation account and we credit the partner's current or capital account because the profit has to be shared by the partners. Yeah, and when the partners receive profits, their capital or current account is increasing, we credit it. Yeah, so we debit the revaluation account and we credit the partner's current or capital account. And then in case of a loss on revaluation, a loss on revaluation, it means that the debit side on the revaluation account is greater than the credit side. And there we do the opposite. We debit the partner's capital or current account because the partners have to pay for the losses. They have to compensate for the losses. Yeah, so we debit their accounts and then we credit the revaluation account. So let's have a question on revaluation. The question goes... X and Y are partners sharing profits and losses in a ratio of 1 to 3 respectively. The balance sheet has at 31st December 1999. Nine current assets, we have premises of 100k, furniture of 80k, motor van of 40k, fixtures and fittings of 25k. Yeah, and then we said re revaluation of assets occurs when a new partner is admitted, retires or dies. Yeah, so maybe a, a new partner was admitted, maybe called Z, a new partner called Z, and the revaluation exercise was as follows. Premises was revalued from 100k to 120k, then furniture was also revalued from 80k to 90k, its, it's value increased, even the value of premises increased. Then furniture and fittings was revalued from 25k to 20k. Its value reduced. Yeah, required. They want us to prepare the revaluation account. We shall prepare the revaluation account as it was asked. The revaluation account is in a T format with the debit side and then the credit side. We first draw it, then after we start filling in one by one. 
we shall start with premises. They told us premises was revalued from 100,000 to 120,000. So there was an increase in the value of premises by 20,000. And we said in case of an increase in the value of assets, premises is a non-current asset. We said in case of an increase in the value of assets, we debit the NVIDIA asset account and then we credit we credit uh, revaluation account. Yeah, so it's what we've done here. There was an increase of 20,000. So we credit the revaluation account with premises of 20,000. Then secondly, we shall look at furniture. They told us from the question that furniture was revalued from 80,000 to 90,000. So it increased in, in value by 10,000. Yeah, and furniture is also an uncurrent asset, and we say that in case of an increase in the value of assets, we debit the NVIDIA asset account, and we credit the revaluation account. Yeah, so we shall come here on the revaluation account, and we credit it with furniture of 10,000, because it increased in value by 10,000. Then in the case of fixtures and fittings, Fixtures and fittings from the question they told us that fixtures and fittings were revalued from 25,000 to 20,000. So there was a decrease in the value of fixtures and fittings. Yeah, fixtures and fittings are also non-current assets. Yeah, and we said in case of a decrease in the value of an asset, we credit the individual liability account and we debit the revaluation account. Yeah, so fixtures and fittings reduced in value by 5,000. So we shall come on the revaluation account and we debit it with fixtures and fittings for 5,000. And those were the only three assets that we revalued. Yeah, so we are going to balance to see which side is greater. Yeah, and when we look at things, the credit side has 30,000 and the debit side has 5,000. So the credit side is greater than the debit side. And we said when the credit side is greater than the debit side, it's called a profit on revaluation. Yes, so here we are having a profit on revaluation. And the difference between the two sides is what we call the profit, which is the difference between 30,000 and 5,000 is 25,000. So it's the profit on revaluation. And we said in case of a profit on revaluation, we debit the revaluation account and we credit the individual partner's capital or current account. Yeah, because the profit is shared, is shared between the partners. We had partner X and Y. Yeah, the profit on revaluation is 25,000 and they were to share profits in the ratio of 1 to 3. Yeah, so we shall share the profits between the two partners. So for X, he will take 1 out of 4, then times 25,000, which is 6,250. And for Y, he will take 3 out of 4, times 25,000, which is 18,750. Yeah, so we, we, we shall go and indicate these figures on our revaluation account. Then we shall come and include their profit shares in the revaluation account. X will take 6,250 and then Y will take 18,750. Yeah, and then both sides have to balance with 30,000, 30,000. Yeah, and that is the revaluation account that they asked for. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and watch my next video. We shall be talking about dissolution of a partnership.